Don't worry, this is actually really simple. Before I show you how you can buy Drip, just a quick disclaimer, as usual, I'm not a financial advisor, this is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing, it's my own opinion, my own research. I encourage you guys to go do your own research, make your own decisions. Never invest more than you're willing to lose, okay? Golden rule of investing. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move forward into this. So when you go to the drip.community website, or if you use a referral buddy link, such as the one that I have in the description, or however you ended up finding this video, if you have another buddy that you found that from and then you wanted to look this up. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the home page and you're gonna see connect wallet up here in the top right hand side. Once you click on that, you have several different options. If you use MetaMask, you can use that. You got Binance Chain Wallet or Wallet Connect. Wallet Connect works with a lot of different wallets. So just for example, if you happen to have the SafeMoon Wallet or Trust Wallet and you wanna be able to connect those, that's fine. The key thing here is that you're gonna to need to have BNB, the Binance Coin. If you wanna take it a step further to be able to work on building your own team of referrals and getting a nice little deposit bonus if they use your referral link, then you gotta have the BR34P token, which I will also touch on in this video. So make sure you have BNB, that's number one. You also need to make sure that you swap it over to the Binance Smart Chain. I will touch on that just slightly here a little bit more later on in the video. So in this instance, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna get my wallet connected. And when you do that, such as in the case of using Wallet Connect, you're gonna see a QR code that pops up. Because I'm doing this via an external device, I can actually use it a little bit more simply by then going to my other device and then being able to pull up this individual piece. So for this instance, let's say you're using uh, Trust Wallet. So Trust Wallet has a feature in there where when you go into the settings, it's gonna say that you want to be able to have Wallet Connect. So when you use Wallet Connect, it has a QR scanner code, uh, the little camera for it. And so by using that camera, you're gonna be able to scan this and it's gonna take you to the next step. So in this instance, with me using my wallet, I open up for Wallet Connect. And now that I have the camera up, I'm gonna go ahead and simply just point it at the screen and then there's gonna be a little prompt that's gonna show up on my external device. It could take a little bit of time as I'm talking with you right now. Okay, now it has popped up. And so what it'll read for you is Drip Community wants to connect to your wallet. I would show you guys, but you know I'm trying to keep a little bit of privacy for some of my things, which I think you should understand. So it says Drip Community wants to connect to your wallet. And it has the website, drip.community, which is the website that I am currently on right now. And it shows which of the wallets that I'm trying to connect to. If you notice that it's pulling up your information on the website and it's not displaying the appropriate balance, you probably had to connect to the wrong wallet. So you can restart the steps, log out, come back over to this step, and then make sure that you have already swapped in your wallet to the correct wallet natively. So you can do that. So in this instance, I could technically click on the arrow and uh, be able to then pull up to search for different networks. So in this instance, you're going to want to be on the Binance Smart Chain Network if you're not already. And this allows you to view, when you do this connection, it says view your wallet balance and activity, request approval for transactions. So technically, because it's Drip Community that's trying to connect to your wallet this is a standard practice. This is why you should always be cautious and you learn more about cryptocurrency. And again, I said never invest more than you're willing to lose. So in this instance, it has to be able to communicate with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on connect. Now that I clicked on connect, you saw how long that that took for it to change over on the website. So now that I've done that, you can also see that my wallet address is now identified up there in the top right. I'm not too worried about you guys seeing that part because it's the same thing as what's associated with my referral buddy link. So it's not surprising. Now that I'm on the home page here, you got a couple options. You can go to Pancake Swap if you want to be able to grab the contract ID. But in this purpose, I'm just going to go ahead and stick with doing it natively here. And the reason why is they actually tell you here, the recommended exchange for trading drip is the fountain contract, which can be found directly on the platform's website under the swap tab, as it allows us to waive the initial 10% tax on buys and provides the lowest prices and highest liquidity, resulting in less slippage for larger trades. So 
you want that. The big key thing there is that you want to have strong liquidity and you also want to make sure that what you're spending, that you're getting the most out of your value. So in this case, you're trying to get more of the drip. So off of that, we can then just go down here to trade. Once you click on trade, it's going to pull up this little screen here. And off of this screen, it shows you what the current price is of BNB, the balance uh, that you have of your BNB and what the drip balance is also showcasing. So in this circumstance, what I can do is be able to go here to the left-hand side to buy drip. You can technically go through their website if you have some that's in your main portfolio balance, meaning that's accessible, it's not deposited, it's not in the staking pool. You can sell those through here and you can be able to do that in exchange back for BNB. So in this circumstance, what I would do is I'm gonna go ahead and put in a valued amount. So for BNB, let's say I'm gonna go ahead and do 0 0.05. If I do 0 0.05 BNB, then that's going to give you an estimate down below that says what I would receive. In this case, it would be 0.1726 drip. Remember, this is gonna fluctuate dependent upon what's going on with the current market. And it's also gonna tell you what the minimum amount received is gonna be. That difference is because of slippage. And remember, because we're going through the website as opposed to going through PancakeSwap, this tolerance is actually going to be lower for you. So you're actually going to be able to get more of that token. And so once you're ready to go on to the next step here, you're like, hey, I got my BNB on there. I already did the swap over to make it to the Binance Smart Chain. Then you're going to click on buy. Now, if you're asking me, wait a second, how do I swap over to the Binance Smart Chain? Uh, again, I'll just use a simple reference point. So in this case, we're gonna be talking about the Trust Wallet. If you're trying to do this through the SafeMoon Wallet, you don't have that functionality. Or if you do, I've never seen it and I'd be very surprised. So maybe in the future, they're gonna add it. But in this case, we're gonna talk about the Trust Wallet. So all you would need to do is go to the token, the BNB, and then once you click on that, you're gonna do a swap. You're gonna do a switch over to it. And by doing so with that, you're trying to swap it from BNB to the Binance Smart Chain BNB. It's very important. You need to have it on the Binance Smart Chain to do so. Once you've done that swap, you're going to have a little bit of a transaction fee that you need to do in order to get that moved over because you're operating a transaction on the Binance Chain. Then you're good to go. Okay, so now I've got the Binance over on the Smart Chain. I put my amount in. I'm going to click on buy. What then is going to happen is that my other device, it's going to have a pop-up. And it is now saying smart contract call. In this case, it shows 0 0.05 BNB. It's a minus sign which is equal to $18.27. And then it shows assets, smart chain BNB from the wallet. And then it says the D app, which is drip.community. You can double check that to make sure everything's fine. The network fee, in this case right now, depending on what's going on with the network, it's about 24 cents. So the total would be $18.52. Once I'm ready or you're ready, you just click on approve. They do have a little bit of a disclaimer. It says, make sure you trust this site. By interacting with it, you allow this site to access your funds, okay? So the reason why I'm really stressing on these things is that because there are projects out there where people have opted into these things and that caused them to get screwed. So I looked at this project personally. I trust it. I have my own money invested into it. I've talked with other people. I've looked at the white paper. I looked at the telegram. So I felt comfortable. That's why I decided to go through with it. So then you're just gonna go ahead and hit approve and then you can move on to the next step now that you actually have the transaction process. Everything went fine. Again, make sure you got some of that BNB also for the transaction fee. You don't want to put everything in for your drip because how are you going to pay the transaction fee? Then we can move on to the next step. So the next step is that we're going to be going over here to the faucet. So once you're on the faucet page, this is where you're going to be able to add on a buddy. So by adding on this buddy type system, unless you went through my referral link, you probably are already gonna see this. Scrolling on down, you're gonna see it where it has this little section called get a buddy. So you just simply paste in that code, which I have in the description. It's just the very end part here, the 0x2a all the way on over. You don't need the equal sign, you just get that. That's the actual address that's being associated. By doing this buddy system, that will allow you to opt in to getting the 1% interest per day. You have to use a referral buddy link in order to do so. So whether you're using my referral link because you saw my videos or you just wanted to show support for me or you're using this video as a way to be able to figure out how to do it for somebody else's, that's perfectly fine. But you do need to put that in in order to get that 1% interest. So once you've done that, then you can actually make a deposit. So you own your drip 
If you want to deposit it, you got to go through the system. After you've added somebody, you'll see that be displayed down there. And then just scrolling back on up here, after you go ahead and put in what amount is of the drip you want to do, because it's got to be able to be based on your drip uh, balance, you're going to have a 10% transaction fee depositing into this. You're contributing over towards multiple things, and this is what helps in allowing the 1% to actually even work. There's multiple things that are helping, but this is a very big element that does play a role. Okay, so you deposit that. Once you've deposited that, there you go. You are now earning interest every day, 1% of what your deposit amount is. I'll make a couple little side notes for you here, just kind of explaining what we're seeing on this page. So your available is what you've earned so far as an interest. That means that if you decide to claim it, that's going to your main portfolio. That's where you can go ahead and go back to the main page or to PancakeSwap if you want, and you can sell it there on the market back for BNB. So you have that as an option. That's where you're like really actually taking your profits. The other option that you have is you can hydrate. Hydrating is where the compounding comes into play. So you can have it roll over and it goes into your deposit. A very key note is that whatever you deposit, you cannot withdraw that. I wanna really stress that. You cannot withdraw it. What you're doing is essentially burning those tokens. So when they talk about drip and say that it's deflationary, well, there you go. That's a big core component that's actually coming into play here. So your deposit will be able to grow more exponentially in a compounding format if you take what you earned as that 1% interest and roll it over. Because the 1% is always based on what your deposit value is. And if your deposit value continues to go up, so too is the amount you would receive in drip every day. Underneath, it's gonna show you how much the value is for drip. It can tell you how much that you've claimed so far. Uh, you have also rewarded. So if you decide that you wanna go and build your own teams, that's where you need to have the BR34P token. And it also shows you how much that you've got for maximum payout and then how big your team is if you have direct slash total. Another quick side note is the 365% that you could receive with the 365% that is again based on your total value that's in your deposit. So if you decide to roll over what you earned in interest, that increases your deposit, which can, then actually extends out how much that total max payout is because that 365% is now based on a new value. Or if you, just deposit, if you decide to deposit more, which is another option, you could always buy more on the market and then add it in there as well. So now let's go ahead and talk briefly about if you go over here to the buy 30 uh, BR34P token. I had an issue personally when I tried to buy this because I went to the PancakeSwap version 2. I just clicked on the tab, as you guys saw there very quickly. I clicked that on the website and that redirected me over here to PancakeSwap. And I'm looking at the domain is v1exchange.pancakeswap.finance and then slash yada, yada, yada. So here's the thing. Because I had an issue with the version 2, I actually was told and finally it worked for me of just doing it on version one. So I click this little checkbox here. I understand, yes, continue to version one. And then it prompts me with this contract. So going through the drip.community website allows you to make sure that you do have the correct contract address for the BR34P token. And so this BR34P token, they have a tiered system on the white paper you can take a look at, but uh, basically that if you wanna get a bonus anytime anyone uses your own referral link, you need to start off with at least two of these BR34P tokens to have that contract compatibility function actually work. So it's in order to allow that to take place. And that's on the deposits, just FYI. So if you wanna be able to have more downlines uh, throughout other people, then you need to have more of this BR34P token on the side. And all you have to do is have it in your wallet. You don't stake it or anything just have it in the same wallet, that's it. So I'm clicking, I understand, because of what's being displayed. Continue, and then from here, you're gonna go ahead and connect your wallet. You're gonna go ahead and put in your BNB that you're trying to swap over for this, or if you have another currency that's working with Pancake Swap in this instance, but your goal is to get the BR34P token, and then you're gonna go ahead and do the transaction as a regular transaction would be. So that's it, that's really it. I understand this video is a little bit long, but I wanted to make sure that you fully comprehend what it is that you're doing and the simple steps that you have. So just a very brief recap, all you do is connect your wallet in the top right hand side, then you go over to swap, then you make sure you have BNB in your wallet on the Binance Smart Chain, scroll on down, 
put how much BNB you want to put in, click on buy, and process it through. And then once you have that, if you want to get the 1%, go over here to faucet, make sure you add a buddy in. And once you have your buddy in, then you're just going to go ahead and put in your deposit amount of drip, click on deposit, and there you go. And if you want to be able to compound it, you hit hydrate. If you want to claim it so you can go sell it, you click on claim. And that's it. Okay. So let me know if this was helpful to you guys. Feel free to share this video on social media. Share it with other individuals. Uh, you know, again, I do have my own buddy referral link. Excuse me. If you are not already with a buddy or saw somebody else's video, then feel free. You can use my link. I'd be more than happy to have you be a part of the team that I've been doing. And if that's not the case and you have somebody else's, feel free to put theirs in. I'm just glad that this video was able to be helpful for you. So that's it. I have other videos I will be doing in the future on Drip to help just sort of comprehend, make it comprehensive for people. That's it. I keep saying that's it like 20 times. I know you guys are looking at my video and you're thinking the same thing. He keeps saying those two words. <laughs> I'm excited about this project. I got referral links in the description if you want to get free crypto or free stock. You can check those out. If you're new, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button, click the bell icon, and very quickly, shout out thank you to our Patreon supporters. Double shout out thank you to Xavier Zamora, Victor, Troy Smothers, 1010 Buns for being higher level patrons. Link in the description for that. Thank you to our YouTube members. You can click on the join button down below. You guys are absolutely awesome. Have a great day. God bless. I will see you in the next episode.